Welsh squad for the Six Nations 2024 is already out, folks. Did a squad reaction video yesterday. Was trying to get a guest on to talk about the Welsh squad. We did manage to get one, thanks to Itoro, who are the sponsor for this video. And uh, thanks to Planet Rugby, we managed to get the Welsh legend propping powerhouse that is Adam Jones, current coach at Harlequins. To give his thoughts on the uh, the Welsh squad, so it was a little bit belated, but managed to get him on. And uh, in the coming days, we got a couple of guests on for the English squad, for the Irish squad, for the French squad, uh, and hopefully the Italian squad as well. So sit tight. Hopefully, we get some more guests on. But for now, uh, we're going to speak to Adam Jones. About the Welsh squad, I should say a very big thank you to eToro as well. eToro bring you this episode. They are the official investing and trading partner of Premiership Rugby. Tackle investing the smart way and join millions of UK investors on eToro today. The friendly platform for serious investors. eToro is a multi-asset investment platform. The value of your investments may go up or down. Your capital is at risk. Here, folks, is Adam Jones on the Welsh squad. All right, folks, the Wales squad for the Six Nations 2024 has been announced. I'm joined by Welsh legend Adam Jones. Adam, mate, there's never a dull moment in Welsh rugby right now. You've got injuries. You've got a guy who's eligible for Wales signing for England. And now you've got one of your best <laughs> players going to the NFL, mate. What's going on? Yes. Uh, yeah. It's always the same, isn't it? It's always something. Uh, but I reckon this is the most extreme one, especially with the... Uh, Reslamic going there. It's, um, it's it's out there. Yeah, I'm sure there's. In fairness to the chat, the young fellow in X's, I'm sure there's reasons around that. But you know, but um, yeah, the Zami one came from nowhere. I think um, my my father actually he apparently spoke to a guy from Gloucester a couple of weeks ago who mentioned it. So you know, apparently really? it, it must, there must have been a bit of a, a bit of a rumor mill going out in Gloucester. But yes, in, <clears throat> look, in fairness, we. If you want to give it a crack, give it a crack. But he's only, he's only 22, so you know he's got plenty of time to come back, isn't he? It's, uh, I was reading some stats. He seemed he's as quick as their wide receiver. So well, not that I know the sport that well, but um, yeah, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure you have a few uh, interesting teething problems, but no, I'm you know, look. He's young, he's confident, and and, he, and he's uh, very very fast. So what more do you want, really? So give it a crack. See what goes. Not good for Wales, though. Yeah, he backs himself to to give it a go. I mean. It does leave Wales in a bit of a situation yeah. in terms of experienced players. Um, yeah. A couple of captains out as well, Dewey Lake and Jack Morgan. Yeah, Morgan. Yeah, I think Jack was obviously amazing in the World Cup. You know, Dewey's kind of on the bench a bit, which but is a big character in the squad. But Jack's huge. I think um, huge for the team. Uh, if you, you look in, Tommy Rafael, I guess, would be the natural successor. But you've yeah. Jack was so good in the World Cup, you know, he's uh he could be a huge miss and uh it's tough to fill those shoes. But you know, I, I think um I like the look of the young kid, Alex Mann. I know he's kind of, he plays six for the blues. Oh no, sorry, not for the blues, Cardiff. Apologies. Mm. It's not the they're not the blues anymore. But um yeah, he's played six for them, but I'm sure he'll come through. Um both of them was good. Then you got Basher and we got Wayne Wright. So a, you know, there's a bit of depth there, you know. But um yeah, massive um oh sorry, in the, in the young kid, but at seven Losing Jack Morgan's huge because you could see how kind of inspirational he was to the boys in the World Cup. So no, that's right. If there's, so if there's one area you guys don't seem to have trouble breeding players in Wales, it's 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 loose forwards. Like yeah, Jack yeah. Brown, James Botham hasn't played for Wales in a few years now, but no. I guess a great guy to bring back. Um, yeah. How about I'm interested in your thoughts? Like the propping stocks, like Archie Griffin's the only uncapped guy, but there's a lot of single digit international yeah. cap guys in that front row so how's yeah. your feeling on how well is it going to go yeah set piece time um, oh look i think it's I'm, it's, a, it's a few surprises i'm surprised you know I'm, i guess i'm slightly biased because i coach him i'm surprised dylan lewis isn't in there you know he's you know sort of 50 odd caps a, a little bit more um you know bit of experience to have around uh but look look you know it's not it's not unlike us to do these sort of selections you know so obviously you know if, you know, it's, he's been a blood of all these young players now, and hopefully, you know, two years down the line, you know, will be um, will be challenging. So it's, it's not, it's, I guess, it's a long, it's a long term goal for Gats and the coaches, and uh, you know, he's generally uh, 
gets it pretty spot on most of the time, you know. So, uh, and he's really good at bringing the young kids through really quick, which is, you know, a massive, uh, a good skill to have. But, uh, you know, picking David Jenkins as well, and 21 year old captain as well. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's amazing, actually. He's a player with his father, so he's, uh, you know, his old man was a good player. But, um, yeah, so he's, uh, no, um, it's, it's a young squad and, you know, it's an exciting squad, you know. You, you know, the half packs strong in that, you know, a strong scrum half pool. You know, you'll obviously lose him bigger and um and scum, you know, so just a huge part there. But it's a, it's a chance now for these young kids to come through and have a, and uh, get out of the shadows a bit. Yeah, I mean that's Jenkins. As, as, your great, as, advice, as the great Steve Hansen once sorry, as the great Steve Hansen once said, mm. sometimes you've got to cut down the big trees to let the little ones grow. So Yeah, this is true. I mean, Getz has mentioned the fact that they are building this is like a three-year kind of process yeah. basically isn't it so do you think he's kind of lowering expectations like what well, i mean i think the the first game is a is already a sellout uh when they're hosting yeah. Yeah. but so there's there a bit of buy-in from the watch rugby public do you think i think so i think um you know i think in fairness you know the christmas games as well with regions are good you know it was a mass, we played um we played down there on saturday night in cardiff and the atmosphere is bouncing you know, so it's a, you know, it's a feel good factor coming from the Cardiff, um, the rugby team in the moment. You know, they, you know, we we went pretty comfortably, but you know, they've um, they've done really well in with limited resources. And you know, I was talking to some of the boys, um, there was only eight of them training at one point in pre season, so you know, it was a feel good factor there. And there's all you know, we, we always want to do well in the Six Nations. And what Gats will do is he'll make the boys believe he'll, he'll work them hard the first couple of weeks and to get them to a, a level he wants, and you'll also get them. Believe in you know they you know believe in their fit believe in they can take his teams on which and, you know, which is again a massive strength in his you know the proof would be you know come match day because Scotland Scotland aren't uh, Scotland aren't mugs anymore there you know um, but you know they're uh, one of the top teams now and uh, so no it's it's a long term um, as as Gas used to say you have to take a little bit of pain first you know before you uh, you get the goals you um, you want. What do you think is going to be a successful campaign for for Wales the Six Nations? Um, look, we've got the blue teams at home, so <coughs> you know you'd fancy it's you know regardless of score, uh, regardless of the you know in, sort of the uh, cap numbers in the squad. You know, I still fancy to beat Scotland at home. I mm. still fancy to beat Italy home. France are obviously pretty sharp, and the Highland and England do. But England, uh, you know, they've got a, a pretty big. Um, Turn around your players and the, the selection there. So, um, yeah, it'll, well, it, it, especially having a young group go to Twickenham, we won't fear it. You know, it's not um, it's not like the you know, years gone by when the Welsh team sort of in the 80s and uh, 90s go there, you know, you, you know, know when you're going to get stuffed. So, you know, the Welsh teams aren't like that anymore. And um, so, you know, basically, you know, you definitely want to be, definitely want to get uh, get the Scotland Italy wins, which I think, I think would be a, um, a successful campaign. On the quiet but you know you never know with this welsh team they could uh, they could just as easily uh turn france over as well in the home so yeah hopefully they do. Well, young side no baggage right like you mentioned exactly, so. yeah. yeah it's weird looking at george north george north's a senior player there now and i mean, just remember him as a young kid coming through it's just, just yeah. when he's like 18 and it's strange seeing 118 caps and he's, he's still not that old really so he's uh but he's uh he's way ahead of everyone else with cap way so he'd be uh he'd be leading from the front i'm sure yeah, he's only 31. I mean, in some of those squads, he could still be one of the younger guys. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's uh he's been he's a freak and you know, he's um shows up professionally is really he's still he's still going and he's still yeah. and he's still quick and he can still do what he do what he needs to do at international level. So he's uh yeah, he's uh been a pretty special special find for Wales. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm pretty optimistic. I mean, I know the expectations aren't too high, but gets Given the youngsters a crack, um, I think he's building. And, um, yeah, I look forward to see how they go in a couple of weeks. Cheers, Adam, for coming along. And, no, thanks, Adam. Uh, Come on. Some again soon. Take care. Cheers, bro. Come on. So that's it, folks. Thanks again to eToro. Thanks to Planet Rugby. And thanks to Adam Jones for spending some time on the channel to talk Six Nations. It's only a couple of weeks away. You guys let us know your thoughts. And um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Together.